today is part two of the survival kit component video series and we're gonna be looking at signaling why you need to have signaling devices in your kit and how important they are to your survival All right, day two is here and we are on signaling devices. Why do you need signaling devices? Well, it's pretty obvious, right? You are in a situation where you are lost. Uh, maybe you are injured. You cannot make it back to your vehicle, back to your camp. Um, you could be a half a mile away from your car. You could be 50 miles away from your car. You don't know but you need a way of signaling to rescuers who are looking for you. Um, some of you may know this or may not know this, but I spent a fair amount of time doing volunteer search and rescue work here in the Midwest. Um, and a lot of times there were situations where people uh, got off trail when they're out hiking. Um, sometimes it was children, sometimes it was elderly people. But for whatever reason, either because of injury or just running out of time, they're out in the woods, they're stuck, they don't know what to do. And even though here in the Midwest, um, you cannot walk more than a mile without hitting a road, um, that there are still situations where people cannot make it back where they need to be. So when you're on a search team, you are out in a group uh, covering the woods, walking, looking, listening. So if you are the person who is lost, you need to have some ways of signaling to that search team that um, will help them find you and get to you quickly. And there's a few different options that I think are important um, and they don't take up a lot of room or space in your survival kit. So here are some go-to signaling devices that you can have in your kit. Um, of course, the number one item that everybody should have is a whistle. Uh, there's no reason not to have a whistle. Um, the sound on these things, especially the, the, the quality ones like these SOLs, um, it's pretty far. You can hear these things pretty well. Uh, this one does not have any kind of uh, what they call a P. There's nothing inside of it, so pretty loud. Um, and it's a great way of getting someone's attention. Now, what we were taught in Search and Rescue is that uh, sounds of th in groups of three means that that is an emergency. So I would do three blasts of the whistle. One, pause. Two, pause. Three, pause. You can also do that, that same signaling cadence with shots from a gun. So if you're a hunter and you have um, injured yourself, you can shoot off your rifle or shotgun three times. And then if someone hears that and they're uh, in a search team, they're gonna understand that that is a, an emergency situation. Um, another fantastic item to carry is some type of signaling panel. Now this is a very lightweight one. This actually comes out of a pilot survival kit. Um, it folds down to nothing. It is kind of a lightweight plastic material or vinyl material. Uh, these are fantastic um, even on the ground because you can hang these in a tree, uh, stake them out, tie them up make a flag out of them. Um, if you are out west and uh, the search teams are utilizing helicopters or planes, these can be um, put on the ground and then um, anchored with rocks and that <clears throat> so the air teams can see you from the air. And then another way of signaling um, that sometimes is overlooked is flagging tape. Now, flagging tape um, in itself uh, doesn't seem like much of a signaling device, but if you have 
uh, several of these hanging from branches all around your camp site that you're that you're waiting for rescue these will blow in the wind and they will be seen um, by a search party because there is motion but there's also color depending on the area you are in um, in the season orange may not be the best uh, there is pink uh, yellow green uh, purple um, neon blue so having uh, the appropriate flagging tape for the season in the area that you're operating in um, is great another device that um, we often see in survival kits is signaling mirrors now signaling mirrors are kind of interesting um, you may think well you know I'm in the eastern woodlands um, you may think, well, I'm in the eastern woodlands, um, you know, I'm, I'm in deep um, woods, there's not a lot of sky that I'm seeing, so why would I need a signaling mirror? Well, signaling mirrors, of course, can also be used uh, to signal people on the ground. They don't have to be used for ground air signal. Um, this is a military signaling mirror, so it's a very high quality one, has a nice casing on it, it's very heavy duty. Um, but if you're out in the woods and you get a little bit of sunlight coming through those trees and you know someone is, you know, a distance away from you but they're making their way towards you, if you can catch that sun and you can signal them that way, they're going to see that light um, reflecting back at them. They're going to see that movement um, and it's going to help them uh, find you. So there's no reason not to have a signaling mirror even though you may never use it um, and of course with um, any kind of wilderness um, survival mirrors can be very handy for you know examining places that you can't uh, reach on your body for medical um, you know if you got something stuck in your eye you can you can actually help get that that eye that debris out of your eye if you have a mirror to look through so Having a signal mirror, there's no reason not to, and there's a lot of different ones on the market. Of course, there are a couple other different signaling devices that you can carry, but they're a little bit more bulky, um, and they need to be taken uh, a little bit more care of. So one would be some type of smoke grenade. Um, this one is from a company called Enola Gay. These are usually... Um, sold to people who are doing like mill sim type stuff and airsoft things like that but it creates a huge plume of smoke um, and if you get a colored smoke something that's very contrasting to your area like blue or purple or whatever um, it's going to show up and people are going to be able to see that from a distance of course you can use your fire as a way of signaling we can burn rubber uh, tires things like that it makes a nice black smoke you can burn wet um, greenery especially the pine and that will burn white and get a nice plume of white smoke and then um, another signaling device that I don't have with me right here but um, is some type of flare gun or pen flare of course that's going to shoot a an aerial um, flare so people can see that from a distance so that's another option a lot of those can be picked up um, even at Walmart in the um, in the camping and boating section they'll have flare kits that are not very expensive but they take up a little bit more room so you have to kind of plan on how you want to carry that but, but these are just some of the signaling items that you can carry in your bag or pack and that are going to help you get found so hopefully you found this video useful uh, stay tuned, more videos coming up. We've got uh, water procurement and treatment. We've got tools, and we're going to even do a little bit of segment on survival fishing kits. Those videos are coming up very soon, so keep checking back on the channel, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer. Thanks for watching.